Hello everyone, I'm here with number one queen, Hannah Bronfman. Oh my god, I am so obsessed. Stop, you're making me with you. Who are you? You're like a DJ, you do wellness things, fitness things, <laughs> like you dance a lot. Like what, who are you? Tell everybody. Oh my god, um, I've been DJing now for 10 years, which is insane. Um, and I do, I run a health and wellness media company called HB Fit. So we talk about all things health, beauty, and fitness. I kind of came, like became obsessed with the world of wellness. Um, after my grandmother died about 12 years ago. And I kind of just like devoted myself after she passed away of anorexia, which is like a whole other thing. Um, I just devoted myself to living my happiest and healthiest version of myself. Mm -hmm. And so that's kind of like been the way I've approached making content for the last like 10 years now. Um, so I'm very like health focused, but I live my life. I'm a DJ. I like come from the nightlife world. I love my tequila. Um, you know, fun, normal things. Yeah. Um, and yeah. I mean, that's exactly why I follow you. Like, you are an inspiration to us all. Like, the way you move your body and like, I am sorry, but I can't do a video and not talk about your butt. I love it. I just want to like, put my face in it. It's amazing. I love it. I love it. I want oh that God, booty. Stop. <laughs> Dude, you want... have that booty, girl. Thanks. But you know, I just, I see you living your life. You travel so much and you're still making it work and being healthy and it's it's awesome but it's not in like a preachy way ever. I try not to be preachy. I can't stand when people are like this is the one way you need to live your life and that's it. Like I am very aware of the flexibility and like the of the way like my life is. Like there's no way I could like live one way. Like yeah. Yeah, of course, sometimes I try to like avoid gluten and dairy and other times I'm eating a pizza to my face. Yeah. I don't necessarily show all the pizza to my face moments and I feel like I actually should be doing more of that because recently I feel like I've kind of got, I've had this internal dialogue about my, with myself about how Instagram obviously makes things look so perfect and I know that they're not and I feel like I really need to start sharing some of those real moments so that I'm not constantly the one being on that other, being on that side of it. Yeah, um, I totally agree. And it's like, as people who are kind of like on the inside of it, we know it's not perfect. But, totally. you know, to people watching it who maybe don't know people who Instagram, totally. it can look like it's the perfect life. You exactly. Know? And I feel like, you know, they're, they're, I, it's funny because I normally talk about things that I know that don't, that aren't really like vulnerable for me. It's more things that I'm like, I know knowledge on, I've, I'm an expert in this or whatever, whatever. It's not so much like, showing the hard times and like the anxiety and all of that. Um, even though I talk a lot about mental health, I don't necessarily show those sides. So that's something I'm trying to incorporate more yeah. into. Yeah, the same. Content. Although it is really hard because you have an audience and you're like, it is, you're being vulnerable to people that you don't know in person. Totally. And at the same time, I've always said that my page or platform, or whatever, has always tried to be the positive voice and especially when our world is such like crazy times, I want people to be able to like escape and go to a place that's like all positive and you know, it, so I've always had that idea of my content being aspirational as well as relatable. Um, and I think I need to work on the relatable part a little bit yeah, more. Yeah, we can all do better, that is for sure. But yeah. let's just tell everybody how we met. Yes. Do you remember? Of course. Are you kidding? I hope so, because I do. <laughs> we we actually met in Germany. Yeah, that's right. That's right. We were on a trip together with Adidas women. Um, and we were we went to like the full on OG corporate headquarters of Adidas in Herzog, Germany. Yes, we did. Um, where we like kind of like we were like pretending that we were like, hey. <laughs> well, I was kind of nervous on that trip because I'm not like a fitness person. Like I don't actually talk about fitness that much. So yeah. I didn't know anyone on that trip. And the funniest thing is I've met some people from that trip who've become some of my best friends. Really? Yeah, like Shanae. I'm oh my god. I'm like, I love hanging with Shanae. And that's like the best thing about this job. You can meet so many cool people. I love that. And honestly, so we met there. I started following you immediately. Fully fell in love. I was like, oh my God, Same. this girl is so the cutest thing I've ever seen. Literally, like the freckles and all, can't get enough. <laughs> and so then you were, now that you're in New York, I'm like, oh my God, now we can actually hang out. Let's hang. Literally. I just told her how much I love dancing, so. We need to have a night out. And we're going to go to this Mescal like, bar. We're going. We're no, going. We're going to like salsa it up. Okay, so people did actually ask us questions. So yeah. let me just run through this and pick a good one. Um, okay. Here's the one that I actually want to know. What's the number one song on your playlist? And God, you need to teach me how to move my body. Oh my god. Okay, wait. The number one song on my playlist, actually, and this is a good one. I feel like you'll totally groove to okay. it. 
is, it's called... I'll find mine too. Okay, so it's called All Night by Romare. Oh, I know that. It's so good. I like that too. That's good. That's that a vibe. is like a feel good vibe. Like on a gray day, put that on and like I'm wearing socks on my wooden floors <laughs> and I'm like literally dancing around. You're always dancing and even when you're doing your skincare, like you just put on a sheet mask and you were like smoothing it out and you were like dancing. So I like have always, I, I was a dancer as a little girl. Like my mom had said that like when I was young, like I couldn't even like sit still during a meal and that I was dancing while eating. I don't know. That's awesome. It's just like <laughs> okay, so my current favorite, I'm obsessed with Sophie. Do you know Sophie? No. Oh, Hannah, please, you're gonna be into it. Oh my God, um, Sophie. Yeah, Sophie. So I think my current favorite song is called "Nothing More to Say." Yes. Okay. You're gonna be into it. It's a little um, different to maybe what a lot of people listen to, but it is my favorite and the music videos are gorgeous and beautiful. Okay, Sophie, I'm gonna yeah. listen to her whole album. Okay, so what other, oh, and the new Robin album. Oh, I didn't even know she put one out, but I love Robin, so Please. I will definitely listen yes. to that. That should be on my new December playlist 100. coming soon. Um, okay, another question is, what do you think is something you can do to stay consistently healthy through like traveling and stuff? What's like one thing that really helps? If you have one thing that you can do while traveling, I would say it is either, well, it depends on like what your situation is, of course, but either probiotics. I need a whole other video about probiotics with you. Listen, probiotics changed my life. I, that's why I even started my health journey because I had so much stuff going on in my gut that I needed to get figured out and probiotics are amazing. Or digestive enzymes. So digestive enzymes are pills that kind of help your body digest your food better so it helps with decreasing bloat um, and generally helps everything move. Okay, love to keep it moving. Love to keep it moving as well. So I would say, and both of those things do help with that, it's all, those. both of those things are around your gut. But probiotics you take either in the morning or at night and with the um, enzymes, you take them with food. Okay, is all of this gonna be covered in your new book? Yes, it will be, oh my God. Let's I, talk about the book. I'm really excited, I can't believe that the book is coming out. It almost like is just like. When I, is it coming out? It's coming out in January, January Perfect. 8th. Um, so it's all, it's right in time for new year, new you, although I kinda hate that term because I always say the best time to start is yesterday. Oh God, that's probably right, but I'm probably just gonna wait till the new year as well, because I'm like, I need to schedule in my new lifestyle. I mean, and people, by the way, people do kind of put it off and you know make excuses and kind of say, okay, well, I'll change this or that. But to be honest, this book is really about um, not necessarily changing your entire lifestyle, but changing specific habits um, and really kind of understanding your body more and listening to your body. A lot of times people don't even know when they're hungry or when they're thirsty or um, if their you know, acne is telling them that something's going on internally. So I talk a lot about the advice and knowledge that I've learned over the last nine years of my own health journey and this is stuff that I literally think about every single day that like keep me on, it keeps me on track no matter where I'm traveling in the world, you know, even like random things like the way you drink water, which we were talking about this earlier, blew my mind. So, I mean, I don't wanna give the whole thing away, but even changing the way you drink water can totally change your digestive system. When you system. drink it, how you drink it. Yes. Fascinating stuff. It I can't is, wait to read your book. It's gonna be good, it's good. It's filled with kind of like pro tips, you okay. know? And it's got recipes and some DIY face masks in there too. That's great. Um, but really it's all about using the knowledge to be like the best version of yourself and really like bring your confidence up. Totally, and it really does help build confidence. I know like even since I started doing yoga, how much it has changed exa exactly what you were just saying, like how I interact with my body and how I can get to know my body and my journey. That's amazing, I love yeah. that. You know, and it's, for some people it's yoga, for some people it's meditation, for some people it's cooking. Yep. Like whatever it is, I'm like that's kind of the whole thing is like you need to figure out what works for you. Totally. I totally and it's a journey every day there's more. Oh my gosh, and every day something unfolds that you were like, "Wait, what?" I didn't mean, what how? <laughs> what are you most insecure about? Oh my gosh. Are, like I actually 
have come to terms with a lot of things about my body, and I don't want to say come to terms, but I really did struggle a lot with body image. Mm -hmm. So I actually feel pretty good about the body and face and hair situation. Okay. Um, I my, would say it as you should feel. Exactly, yeah. and it's it's changed me. Like the only all that negative talk is for yourself. Yes. Like it's just doing bad things to yourself, and it's about it's very bad. Mm -hmm. You know, it's I not. Completely agree. It's not good. So no. um, I try not to do that anymore. Um, but I actually am quite insecure about my anxiety I would say really yeah like since we already mentioned it like I can get so stressed and like I get insecure about like having a meltdown in front of people oh really yeah Wow. Yeah. So then what do you do? Do you bottle it up even more? I mean, I'm trying not to but I feel like you got to get it out yeah, yeah, I mean I do but it's just like even if I'm stressed out about something or timing like I hate like showing all my friends like how stressed I am right you I know hear that sure what about you? Um, I think I'm most insecure about, like, I feel like, okay, so I, I, call me whatever, but, like, I feel like I've never really sold a product okay. before, and I am in, I'm, it's not that I'm, like, I, I'm insecure about the notion of whether or not I'll be able to, like, sell my book. I, relatable. I mean, when my book came out a couple years ago, it was a very similar thing. It's you, it's all you in a product, in a book, yeah. and people are either going to buy it or they're not, and totally. it's all about you. Totally. Um, I I've, I've said to myself time again, like, writing the book was such an amazing experience for me. I, you know, having to go back and really think about everything that I've learned and put it into the, this kind of, like, semi-guide was like so fulfilling and I felt so fulfilled writing it and ex and doing that and to you know edit it and get the photos done everything that because I put so much like effort and hard work into it I would be so disappointed if it didn't sell but then again I also am like already like preparing myself that I'm not going to get on a bestsellers list because it's January it's the hardest list and wellness is the hardest category and blah 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 so I'm like trying to make realistic expectations for myself while also being okay with the idea that it might not sell hundreds of thousands of copies because they're books and they don't even books don't books sell. don't sell books don't sell but so I, I am a little bit I'm I'm very anxious around it and I'm That's insecure fair. around the idea of whether or not I'll be able to like sell a product. well it's gonna do amazing I already know that Stop. but I do understand that and I think a lot of people who have never done something like that, like it takes a lot of you. And it's a lot to put yourself out there. I mean, we put ourselves out there all the time, but like in a limited way. Yes. Um, and this is a different, this it's is a, a different, yeah, it's this a totally, is a totally different You know different what, it's amazing me. though. Anyway, I feel like we can wrap it up now, but I just wanna say, guys, we did film a makeup tutorial over on Hannah's channel, so make sure you check that out. And she's also coming on my podcast on the line, so make Can't sure you wait. watch out for that episode. I could literally talk to you all day. I'm obsessed with you and apparently we're going partying now. We are going partying, <laughs> yes. All right, so thank you for watching. Make sure you go subscribe to Hannah and follow her on Instagram. Her stories are the best. I actually just have to say, I love when you show your getting your facials done and you like talk about all the treatments. Like you had that thing on your abs the Oh my other God, day. yes. Oh my God, that thing is crazy. Yeah, so make sure you follow her. You're like one of my all-time fave Instagram accounds, like obsessed. Stop, you're so it's cute. It's true. So I will see you guys in a video very soon. Bye. Later.